The State of the Lower St. John's River Basin Report is a collaboration between UNF and Jacksonville University. We've been writing an an this annual report on the State of the Lower St. John's River Basin since 2008. It is funded by the Environmental Protection Board of the City of Jacksonville. We also have a collaborator at Valdosta State University. So every year we write this report in which we, you know, take an ongoing snapshot of the health of the river the lower basin of the river in four critical areas, water quality, fisheries, aquatic life, and contaminants. We post all of our results, uh, our full report, and all the ancillary pieces on our website, which is sjrreport.com. And one of the items that we include is this brochure. We have a color brochure here that is can be downloaded as PDF from the website, but of course it's printed nice and glossy. The UNF team consists of Dr. Stuart Chalk in chemistry, Dr. Peter Bacopoulos in civil engineering, Dr. Brian Zellner in the College of Education and Human Services, um, and we work closely with our Valdosta State colleague, Dr. Gretchen Bielmeyer, who's a biologist over there, and me. I'm the other UNF person. We don't have students working on it this year. We have in the past. The purpose of the report in the larger context is that it provides a, an independent, unbiased look at the health of the river from a group of scientists that are not affiliated with any particular infrastructural entity, like we're not associated with JEA or the St. John's River Water Management District, we're a separate report. The report is um, circulated among a group of peer reviewers every year during its creation. And those reviewers come from a variety of places, some from the Riverkeeper, some from the St. John's River Water Management District, JEA, the City of Jacksonville, other academic uh, experts. And so that's the role that they play, is just as another reviewer. Well, we are seeing um, a decrease in total nitrogen in the main stem of the Lower St. John's River Basin. That's an important result. This year, for the first time, the river, uh, excuse me, the report covered the topic of salinity, and we're finding that overall, on, the, on a long-term time scale, that salinity is increasing, that the river is becoming more salty, or excuse me, the lower basin of the river is becoming more salty. Um, we reported this year that turbidity is starting to show some improvement, less cloudiness in the river. So those are some of the important findings for the year. 